I publish all of my videos in DCI 4K or also referred to as 17 by 9 aspect ratio over the past few months. And I did that because I just like my videos to be wide. I like this more cinematic look, especially that 21 by 9 aspect ratio that you oftentimes see in cinema movies. But I noticed that here on YouTube, this 21 by 9 aspect ratio doesn't work because you can't use end screens with that at the end of the video. And this is why my more cinematic or story driven videos I usually used black bars at the top and the bottom and that made it possible to show end screens at the end but also have this nice 21 by 9 aspect ratio. But that's also not perfect because if people with ultra wide monitor watches that and it's not perfectly adapting, I think they get black bars on the left and right. So that also looks weird and I actually had people complaining about that in the comments section. And recently I discovered a new aspect ratio for YouTube. I never thought about that. I was watching some of my own videos on YouTube so I knew that this is DCI 4K and then I switched tab to one of Peter McKinnon's videos and there I saw that his videos are actually wider or have less height than my videos. So I did a quick research and there I found that he is actually pu publishing his videos in a 2 by 1 aspect ratio. So I thought this is actually a great aspect ratio that I could also use for my own videos and then I also thought directly about making a video called Peter McKinnon's Secret Aspect ratio and by researching about this video I noticed instantly that he already made a video about it so it's actually not a secret anymore but I thought let's make this video anyway because maybe there are some people like myself that missed that out and now you get to know that. And I also think that we can use this opportunity to talk a bit more about the different aspect ratios, when you should use them and when not and how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into it. So what does aspect ratio even mean? Aspect ratio is basically the relationship between the width of your image and the, the height. So for example, a two by one aspect ratio means that if you have 1000 pixel in the width, the height would be 500 pixel. And then you have 16 by nine, for example, this is a standard aspect ratio here on YouTube. So let's say you have 1600 pixel in the width, then you would have 900 pixel in the height. Of course, the actual pixels are a bit different. For example, for 16 by nine, you have 3840 pixels in the width and 2160 in the height when it comes to 16 by 9 4k video and for 17 by 9 for example you have 4096 pixel in the width and also 2160 in the height. Sounds complicated I know but this is how it is it's really just a relation between the width and the height. Don't really have to remember more about that because the pixels are usually shown in your NLE and DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut or Adobe Premiere if you still use that. And then there's also the vertical aspect ratio which is usually 9 by 16 and you use that a lot on Instagram and also in YouTube Shorts to have vertical content. So now is the question, when should you use which aspect ratio? And generally there are these two safe aspect ratios that you can always use here on YouTube. This is 16 by nine and 17 by nine. 16 by nine is the standard. This is also the aspect ratio where your YouTube thumbnail always has to be in. Doesn't matter what aspect ratio your video has. So if you're in a doubt what you should choose, just choose 16 by nine, it's pretty good. And 17 by nine is just a little bit wider. To me, it looks a little bit nicer. It gives you the full 4K resolution, but it's it's still very similar to 16 by 9 it's not like super wide so you still have a lot that you can show in the height of it so this is also a safe aspect ratio but on many cameras you can't record that so you'd have to upscale your footage slightly actually my Canon EOS R6 Mark II also cannot record 17 by 9 or DCI 4k which is why I always have to upscale those videos to fit in this 4000 96 um, width, pixel width or whatever it's called. So I think for most people it really just comes down to if your camera supports DCI 4K or 17 by 9 or not. If not, shoot in 16 by 9, it's perfectly fine. If it records that, then shoot in 17 by 9 aspect ratio. But then there's also what I mentioned, the 21 by 9 aspect ratio, which is also referred to 2.35 by 1 or something like that in the cinema terms. 
and that is basically ultra wide. This is what you see in cinema movies. And I personally really love that, but it's not really suitable here on YouTube because to actually do that while having end screens available in your YouTube video, you have to use black bars on a 16 by nine or 17 by nine aspect ratio. And as I mentioned already in the intro, that is not really ideal. So 21 by nine is generally not a good idea on YouTube. I would still say that you can sometimes do that with the black bars if you want to have some more cinematic looking videos that should really look a bit more like cinema. But if you're actually thinking about it, it doesn't make much sense. And that is actually why this 2 by 9 aspect ratio or what you could also call 18 by 9 ra aspect ratio comes into play. There you still have the YouTube end screens available. It looks a bit more cinematic than 16 by 9 or 17 by 9. And what's also nice is that when you watch a video on your phone in landscape mode that it takes up more of the screen so you don't have to crop in and then cut everything off at the top and bottom so you probably don't see everything. So this 2 by one or 18 by nine aspect ratio, which is essentially the same, is actually quite nice for smartphones as well. Not for vertical video or so obviously, but for the normal video, the landscape mode, that's actually quite nice. So this is what it really comes down to. For most people, I think 16, 16 by nine aspect ratio is perfectly fine. But if you're a bit like me, you want to have it a bit more cinematic, but still want to have all the advantages for ultra wide angle screens, but also on YouTube, then just go for a two by one aspect ratio. The one that I choose is 4,900. 96 pixels by 2048. Yeah, I actually <laughs> kept it in my head. That was tricky. And yeah, I just used that from now on on all of my videos. I just liked it a lot more. So thank you, Peter McKinnon, for giving me the idea. But now let's also talk about how you get all these aspect ratios in DaVinci Resolve because that is the video editor that you should use. It's the best one, it's the cheapest one and it's super powerful, it's fast, it doesn't crash that much, it saves all the files, the projects directly, so even if it crashes, it's not actually an issue, and, and, and. It's just an awesome editor, so use that. So to change your aspect ratio in DaVinci Resolve, you simply go into the project settings, and there you can simply choose 16 by nine or 3840 by 2160 for 16 by nine aspect ratio, or if you want it a bit wider, 17 by nine, you can choose 4096 by 3840, which is also referred to as 4K DCI. And then for 21 by nine, you have to choose custom and type in 5120 by 2160p, which you can do, but if you do it like that, you won't get end screens in your video. And that is why a better way is actually to go into the menu after choosing the normal 16 by nine aspect ratio. And there you simply select timeline and then output blanking. And under output blanking, you choose 2.35 to use these black bars in the 16 by nine aspect ratio then so that essentially gives you a 21 by 9 aspect ratio but by always showing black bars on every screen it's also not ideal as mentioned before but on most screens that actually looks pretty good and you still can use the end screens on YouTube and then if you want to have these 2 by 1 aspect ratio or 18 by 9 you simply choose 4096 by 2048 in your project settings or timeline settings or alternatively, you can also choose 3840 by 1920 if your camera doesn't shoot DCI 4K and you don't want to upscale that. So it's both the same aspect ratio, it's just a smaller amount of pixel with the 3840 resolution. And then if you want to use other aspect ratios, let's say for example, you want to do a reel for Instagram, then you can choose the nine by 16 aspect ratio, which is 3840 by 2160. But then after selecting that, you have to select a vertical resolution and then you automatically get this real format. So it might look a little bit confusing at first, but after you've done it a couple of times, you get the hang of it quickly. And another thing that I also recommend you to do is to go to image scaling in the project settings. And there you can activate the point scale full frame with crop on the mismatch resolution files, because sometimes you have files that don't match the aspect ratio that you chose. For example, in my two by one ra ratio, it does not fit at all. And by choosing the scale full frame with crop, it always scales it completely to the full width of your video and automatically cuts off the top and the bottom. And then I can simply choose the position Y attribute to reframe it so that the stuff that I want to show 
is actually in the middle because otherwise you might have some videos in there that have black bars on the left and right and that is something that you definitely don't want. So that's it already, a quick video for today. As mentioned, I will from now on only use this two by one aspect ratio because I like it the most. And if you want to know a bit more about which plugins I use with DaVinci Resolve, then check out this video here in the corner. There you will learn more. And if you found this video helpful, please leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for upcoming videos and I see you there.